Hey guys, this is Pharaoh2091, and welcome back to Let's Play Kingdom Hearts 2. Lesson left off, we landed at Beast's Castle, but uh, things aren't how uh, we expected it to be. Beast is not welcoming at all, and after running into Belle, she's saying that you no, know, he's not himself anymore, doesn't want to talk to her, he locked up the servants. It's like, what? He weren't like this before, so now we had to go, f well, free the servants. And uh, before we do that, as you can see, we're in the West Hall, and we actually have to go where I'm looking at right now to free the servants. Before we do that, um, let's head back just a little bit, because the cutscene <laughs> just happened uh, let us go by two treasure chests, which include the Mithril Shard and... What is this? A High Potion. Alright, and something for to let you guys know, um, these suits of armor, you can go ahead and hit them, and they will release drive orbs. So, if you would like that, then, you know, go ahead, but, you know, eh, I don't feel like doing that right now, but if you ever need drive orbs, and if, these will give you a little bit of them. And just so I think, uh, just to let you guys know, um, drive orbs will be a point of experience for one of the forms we will be, or on the drive forms we will be getting soon enough. Now, before we continue on, there's another couple chests here. One of them here is a drive recovery. Uh, and then there's going to be another two on this side, which will have a tent and a missile shard. We're getting a lot of those. And, uh, well, we could go up those stairs uh, later on, but for right now, as you try going past it, it says, these suits of armor appear impassable. I don't know why, because uh, there's space there, I'm sure we can go right through, and yeah, but, you know, it's just the game's, game's way of saying, don't come here, you know, invisible plot wall, as H.C. Bailey would like to say. And, uh, I think that's all we can do right now, so, um, well, wait a minute, well, there's, here's a door right here, but this wardrobe's in the way, so let's go ahead and move it, I mean, what the hell's it gonna do? Wake up and tell us no. That'll be really stupid, wouldn't it? Come on. Here it is. Oop, I spoke too soon. Do you mind? W wait, wait a minute. No, wait. Uh, yeah. I'm sure you all remember the wardrobe from Beauty and the Beast, which is a very, I don't know, snarky lady, the wardrobe. But... I don't even know the snarkiest word to say it, but yeah. So we gotta move the wardrobe. Okay. Now the thing is, here's how you do it. You come, come here on this side, and you can see it waking. You wanna keep, um, when she falls back asleep, you wanna keep pushing. The thing is, you keep pressing triangle, but when you see her starting to wake up, stop, and, you know, I don't think you have to go back, but just stop what you're doing, and then go back, oops, go back when you have the time, or when she goes back to sleep, uh, and see so if you keep pushing her when she wakes up, then she'll hit you, you'll take some damage, and she'll move back and you have to do the whole thing over again. So this takes, like, you know, usually three times if you're good enough or you're quick enough. Um, and the thing is, we move her, it's like, okay, you succeeded, and she wakes up anyway, but... Ah, whatever. And I was just starting to get comfortable. May I help you? Huh? What? Oh, right, uh, Bell needs to get to the dungeon. Goodness, you're here to help my friends? Why wouldn't you say so? Uh... I'm sorry I startled you. Oh, I used to be human, you know, until the Enchantress cast her spell. I was turned into a wardrobe when the prince was turned into a beast. The prince is a beast? The beast is a prince? That's right. Although his behavior was far from princely at the time. Uh, what's this about a spell? Well, it was a cold winter's night. Uh, go on. And it's enough for you for- that's enough for now. You can hear the rest when you rescue the others. It'll give you something to look forward to. Ah, oh, damn it. Fine. Aww. Hurry now, the dungeon is damp and chilly. Certainly no place for a clock. A clock? We'll find out soon enough. Alright, let's get going. Now nah, we should all, they, you should know what she means, and I'm sure you guys all know the story if you ever watched Beauty and the Beast. I mean, it's one of the essential Disney movies you have to watch, you know? So, when you're ready, just go ahead and go through the door to the dungeon. 
And, uh, let's just say a surprise is going to be waiting for us. This must be it. Here we go. Here is another boss fight. Uh, I'm not sure what these are called, um, but yeah, it's a boss fight. They're not too bad as far as I can remember, so just wait, wait, wait. Ah, damn it. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. I didn't know the damn things are. We shot that one much. If I had uh, my drive ready to go, this probably wouldn't be the best time to use it, but oh, well. Uh, I, don't have that. I think you might want to... I think it might be easy to get rid of these uh, statues or gargoyle statues, whatever you want to call it. They give good enough experience, so that's good. Oh, crap. Who knew those things could fly up so high? Uh, you know, how about Donald and Goofy and getting hit? Come on. There we go. That wasn't too bad. Oh, crap. Those hook bats. Where the hell did they come from? Uh, I guess they just spawned. There is a reaction command to them called Bat Cry, which. I think I tried it before. All they do is like you kind of grab them, they go like, oh, they go crazy. It's a good way to get rid of them and any other like, enemies in the way. Come on. You know what? I could like, I could like, you know, use my um, my drive. I mean, not my drive, but um. Oh, here we go. Once well, you deplete other health, you can click an erection that called release, which will kind of like well, release them, I guess, from their evilness. Not sure what the hell you want to call it. And what the hell? Okay, here's another form of the boss. I think this is called a possessor, I think. And these are called thresholders, I think. I'm not really sure. Um, I'm going off some notes here, so. Crap, 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 crap. This isn't too bad, actually. And I think I have enough time to get a drive going on, but do I want to do that right now when there's only just so little HP left? I think I want to wait it, wait until something else comes along. There we go, and completes health, do release, and that means up. Oh. So I think you want to hurry up and kill it before it actually goes back to the door, or else you're gonna to have to repeat the whole entire thing again. But we should have it. There you go. And we got a couple of uh, bonuses: upper slash for Sora, Donald fire for Donald, and I didn't read what the hell Goofy got, but pretty good stuff all the way, no matter what. Alrighty, do you think the dungeon's past this door? Come on, we gotta set those servants free! He's right, let's go. Hold on a minute, I don't know if I want to go just yet. I just want to see if there's anything here I yeah. missed. So yeah, I guess those, uh, what the hell's that? <laughs> I guess uh, those weren't just decorations, they really were heartless. Uh, can I get up here? I guess I can. I think there's a couple treasure chests up here? No? Huh. Okay, never mind. I guess I was wrong. But I'm sure those will move. I think those will move. I'm sure because there's a door behind them. You know, but whatever. Now that we actually uh, have access to the dungeon, let's go ahead and go through it. I wonder who's behind this door. There's nobody here. Hmm? You mean there's hmm. nobody to rescue? <sighs> Did someone say rescue? Huh? Shh. Keep quiet. It might be them. Oh, they look like nice boys to me. We are nice. We're your friends. Yeah. Bell sent us to find you. Wow. I'm Sora. Donald. 
goofy. <laughs> don't, don't cut things. I am self-winding, sir. Ooh. I am... Stop goofy. <laughs> I'm glad you're okay. It is we who are overjoyed to see you. Did somebody put a spell on you guys, too? No, 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 no. Yes, that's right. You've heard. It was the Enchantress. It seems so long ago. It was a cold winter's night. An old beggar woman came to the castle and asked for shelter. But the master of this castle, that is, of course, the prince... Stop that! Put me down this instant! Thank you. <clears throat> you gotta admit, that was pretty funny of Donald. <clears throat> the master turned her away. All because of her <clears throat> meager appearance. That's awful. We, oui, he was a spoiled prince, so selfish and uh, hellish, hell, shall I say, cruel. Lumiere! Yeah. The old woman warned our master not to be deceived by appearances. Still, he would not take her in. Then the old woman's ugliness melted away to reveal a beautiful enchantress. She turned the prince into a beast, a shape she thought fitting for his cold heart. And to further punish him, everyone in the castle was enchanted too. Wow, it's quite a story. Is there anything we can do to help? Let's get the enchantress! Oh no, dear! We already know what needs to be done, but with the master out of sorts... He sure is acting weird. It's almost as if he's forgotten how to trust others. You don't suppose he's been turned to a heartless, do you? A heartless? If they're a part of this, then it's a good thing we're here. Let's go find a beast! Splendid! Follow me, messieurs. I know a shortcut. Alrighty. Well, okay. Uh, before we head off, though... We're in the Undercroft, I guess. It's a really crappy dungeon. There's two tire chests in here. We got one that is the AP boost. Oh my god, another one. I, bet, like, I guess I could give him the Donald Goofy, but no. Okay. And we have the basement map. Okay. And actually, before we head out, uh, there's a couple new abilities, right? Sora has the upper smash. Upper slash, never mind. Knocks a target into the air during a combo with square. Hmm. That's a lot of AP for it, though, and I'm sure I can probably get rid of some stuff here to bring that back, but I don't think I need it at the moment. Uh, Donald? Oh, yeah. He has Donald Fire. At least it's a fire storm and attacks, att attacks nearby enemies. Very nice. And, uh, yeah, I think that is it, so let's go ahead and head out. So, yeah, I'm sure we all we knew the story before of, um... Of how the, the beast turned into a beast and all that. Uh, hmm. Now, uh, here is how. Uh, wait a minute. Oh, it's Miss Potts. Please talk to Cogsworth upstairs about the hidden passageway. And, uh, so yeah, that's Mrs. Potts, and this is her son, Chip, who's, who's up here somewhere. Here we go. Did you know that Cogsworth can make an alarm sound too? It's so loud, I bet it wake everybody up. Okay, and up here is uh, Lumiere, who's the French servant. It seems all the statues in the castle have been hostile. Please be careful. I will try my best, and I'll try not to be very stereotypical with my French accent. And uh, Cogsworth, of course, the clock. He's one of my favorite characters in Beauty and the Beast just because he's funny like no other. Allow our guests to pass. Oh, okay, that's... Kind of cool and creepy at the same time. I'm sure I would never want to see that in my life. That must suck being turned into like pots and furniture and whatnot. After you. Well, thank you, good clock. Into whatever the hell this is. I wonder what's in here. Well, th well this pot says it's like a hidden passageway. Huh. All right, how do we how do we get out of here? I'm afraid we won't be marching out so that easily. You see, the door leading to the other side is concealed by a sort of contraption. What kind of contraption? Observe. Okay, I am observing. And what the hell's that? 
It's like a lantern, but instead of illuminating the lights, it's dark. The slit, the lantern came down. Indeed it did. If you could but light all the lanterns in this passage, the secret door would open. But as you can see, the lanterns are already burning with an enchanted flame. You must put out this enchanted flame before I am able to light the lanterns properly. Can't you just throw some water on them? Very good point, Donna <laughs> Goofy. I'm afraid that's not enough. But if you use the power of light... Hmm... How about I try using the Keyblade? Yeah, because Keyblade light always works out. See? Bravo! So, here we go. Approach each lantern and use a reaction command to sprinkle to put it out. Only three lanterns left. If we work together, we'll, we'll have that door open in no time. Piece of cake. Again, it's not quite that so simple, mon ami. Certainly, you cannot expect Cogsworth to hang that hang from that handle forever. What? Why? Lumiere, you! If he gets tired and falls off, all that you unlit lanterns will rise to the ceiling again. Before you can continue, you must see the co see the Cogsworth. Once he gets his strength back, he'll grasp the lever again for you. Ugh, I don't understand why like Donald Goofy can't just be there and we we can fight fight without them. We have no problem with that. But no, no, no. The game has to do this. So we had to use the like, reaction command restore to help Cogsworth recover his strength. Let's give it a shot. So I'm sure he's gonna give us a gauge on his strength, I guess. So light all the lanterns. Yeah, so he's telling us to hurry, whatever. So he go up to him. Actually, I guess at a certain time you had to go up to him and do it. But, uh, or that, like a certain amount has to be gone before you can go ahead and use the restore command. But in any case, guys, uh, next time we're going to go through this passageway, light all the lanterns, and, um, oh, excuse me, I guess just as, uh, I guess find a beast and see what the hell's going on. So, as usual, thank you all for watching, and I'll see you guys next time for Let's Play Kingdom of Hearts 2. I'll see you guys later.